G'day YouTube, it's Shane here once again, and I'd like to send a special shout out to my Spreaker listeners. Now the Spreaker listeners will very often listen to this live. Uh, there's a few of you out there, so thanks very much. Uh, I'm giving the thumbs up for those that uh, can't see the visual, uh, which is all of you because this is audio, and I have to get used to that. Um, so what I'm doing is just explaining how a radio program recorded on Spreaker can be uh, transferred to YouTube. Now what you've got to do, very, what you do is, and you have to remember, is that what you're recording is not live on YouTube. It's just live to your Spreaker audience when you're first recording the audio. <coughs> then what you do, uh, for those of you who are recording, you go to your icon, your avatar, on the right, and you click on the, the little pull-down menu, and you have, a, you, you have your profile and, and stuff like that. But you have like a list of settings halfway down and in your settings there is a list I'm just waiting for it to the computer to catch up uh, it's doing a million things at once and okay yep I'll just shut down Facebook for a little bit yeah so what you do is you click on settings and there'll be like a list of websites that you can broadcast and share your uh, here we go under profile data uh, you can there's a list of uh, websites where you can share your uh, radio from so you've got Facebook Twitter Google SoundCloud YouTube Tumblr uh, and you can ban users and you've got language settings and all that sort of stuff right so what you do is you just click on YouTube and it will give you the just come up on the on the next page it will come up with uh, connect speaker to YouTube uh, your account is connected to YouTube and under settings again it says speaker will publish your YouTube account when you broadcast and you track and it's got a, a tick so you tick that and you click save changes and you can disconnect it at any time which is great which is great, great, great. And what you do, it does not broadcast it directly as I th suspected that it would. Um, what it does do, however, is once you've got the track and it's finished broadcasting, what you then do is you go into Edit and you can edit the information of the track that you've just recorded and let's see profile uh, yeah you can edit the track that you've just recorded therefore you can add all the tags and things like that that you would need for a YouTube video you can um, <clears throat> enter in a little description about what you're talking about uh, as you would like a normal YouTube video and then just click on the button that says upload this bad boy to YouTube and then you go over to your YouTube channel and it will be doing this sort of stuff in the background so you don't need to worry about it however you can come over to your YouTube channel and it will show you a your track processing <clears throat> and it will give you a title not the title of the name of the track that you chose before you started and it will be something like uh, but my latest one is easy like a Sunday morning uh, and it will automatically put in brackets made with Spreaker hang on not there's it's advertising and I can't hang on, hang on, hang on. Anyway, anyway. I didn't mean to cry. I didn't mean oh, to okay. cry. Look, I'm gonna. Anyway, I just 
it's probably beneficial if you turn off your um, speakers, your basically your speakers, because the speakers got this thing where, <laughs> like it happened just then, they will play advertisements with audio, and it's very, very frustrating, unless you're a, uh, a paid-up member. <clears throat> Turn your speakers, speakers off uh, when you're using Spreaker, and uh, you shouldn't have that problem. But I apologise for that. But anyway, yeah, back to what I was saying. Use the... Yeah, the title of the video will be what you've called the uh, podcast. And then what you do, once it's processed, well, while it's processed, you go to your, go to YouTube, go to your video manager, <clears throat> and you do what you normally do. You can then monetize the video the same way that you normally would. So you monetize your videos, you go to advanced settings and you would say that it was recorded today and <clears throat> put in your location and all that sort of st funny stuff. But you can edit um, the text like you would in a normal video. Um, I think the idea, if you really want to monetize these things, keep them fairly short so that it's easy for uh, YouTube to process them and uh, you know oh, okay well my half an hour one is now monetized no views but I've got I've got 17 views already on my YouTube speaker test which was the first one just to let try and figure out what was going on but uh, thank you all for listening in and I apologize once again for the commercial interruption um, I wish I got paid for that but I didn't but anyway uh, I'm going to send this off to YouTube once again so that you guys can figure out what's going on. I hope you made sense of me rambling on, but that's the breaks. Anyway, uh, that's all for me today. Look after yourselves. Bye for now. Oh, and before I forget, um, like and um, yeah, like the video and also if you could if you've got a if you set up a Spreaker account please add me to the Spreaker um, it's Liberator X or DJ Liberator X you should be able to find it um, if I'm on your friends list in uh, Facebook uh, you'll find me as well so yeah please please join Spreaker if you do I need like uh, at least a hundred followers to basically to push my radio channel up to iHeartRadio, and that's eventually what I'm going to do. I'm I don't want to flood your inbox or here on YouTube, and so I'll probably be doing a Spreaker podcast once a week, maybe Sunday Sunday mornings. Let me know which what time's uh, available for you, which is easier for you, what time you actually be tuning in, because live uh, live audiences I think are a lot better. Also, Spreaker has a chat box. You can chat to people live uh, during a broadcast, and these broadcasts um, right now they're about up to about thirty minutes long. But I'm not going to do that um, I, unless you guys want that. Uh, it's good for me because it raises my CPM here on YouTube. And But at the same time, I want you guys to be uh, happy and healthy and um, wanting to actually be able to click on it and go, mm, I'm not going to spend half an hour listening to him dribble on. So this one I'm going to round off at uh, 10 minutes, which is still fairly long. It's long for a YouTube video, don't you think? But yeah, um, thank you guys for tuning in, and I want to thank um, Rebecca, uh, Mum's the Witch, and uh, Rhyme Source for giving you, f f and a few other people, uh, Gazza, J. Spenny's, um, Shaleen, etc., for giving me feedback on my um, <clears throat> on my speaker, uh, so that I know. <laughs> 
that I know that it's all working. Anyway, I'm over 10 minutes. <laughs> Bye for now.